I was doing just fine before I met you. I drink too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Hey, tell your friends it was nice to meet them, but I hope I never see them again. No. I know it breaks your heart. Moved to the city in a broke down car. And four years, no calls. And now you're looking pretty in a hotel bar. And I, I can't stop. No, I can't stop. So, baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your rover. That I know you can't afford. Bite that tattoo on your shoulder. Pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole from your room. Get back and go, we ain't ever getting you again for checking out my channel if you haven't already don't forget to press the subscribe button it's just down around here somewhere today I'm gonna take you to Aldi take you out on a little school trip we're gonna have a little bit of fun there I'll catch you in the supermarket bye <laughs> Does anybody else find the checkout at Aldi like the most stressful place in the world? <laughs> You've got like people opening checkouts and people rushing to get that checkout and then when you get there, the checking things like this and you're trying to struggle to get it all back in the in the bag and you just can't do it in time and everyone's waiting for you and the pressure. <sighs> but anyway, it's worth going because it's very cheap what you get so I got all of this for around $40 which is just over £20 it's all like fresh stuff and I just wanted to put a disclaimer that because I'm doing my mini cut this week I am being more strict with my food choices whereas if I was doing a longer cut I would have a more varied diet so I'd be eating stuff that is less clean this is all very clean <laughs> clean doesn't mean that I put it under the tap and washed it <laughs> so all these foods are really good because they're low in calorie you can use a lot of them so you're getting more voluminous meals and also they're full of vitamins and minerals the reason I haven't bought any carb sources is because I these are these foods will mainly go towards my lunches not really breakfast or tea because breakfast as you know I have oats with protein every day uh, and then tea I eat with Andrew's family which normally contains some form of carbs so what I'm doing is I'm having carbs in my morning and my evening meal but not during the day I may have a few before training but generally I'm not gonna have rice with my lunch or anything like I would normally so if you aren't doing a mini cut and you're doing a longer diet then I would strongly strongly advise having more variety of foods so some more high fat foods like some nuts some and maybe some yogurt which is also high in protein and some carbohydrates so rice bread pasta potatoes squash all that good stuff okay so this is what I bought today I bought zucchini this stuff is so so versatile you can put it in your savoury meals but also I know a lot of people like to use it to bulk up their porridge on the morning so if you are on a low carb diet 
you don't have many carbs to play around with but you want more voluminous food, you can grate up some zucchini into your oats and cook them all together and it provides more volume and apparently you can't taste it. I think I've maybe done it once or twice and it's really not that bad. So if you're desperate for volume, you can do that. You can also um, spiralize them or make them into noodles so you can have them instead of pasta. If you're on a low carb diet, you can do that with, um, what else do they do it with? Carrots as well. I never normally do that because I'm <laughs> never normally on this lower calories and it's only for a week but yeah there are a few things you could do with the zucchinis got an avocado now this is actually for andrew but because he eats an avocado every single day <laughs> but um these are awesome source of fat and they are mainly fat so if you are low in your fat macros you wanted to beat them up this would be a better choice than nuts simply because it has less protein and less carbohydrates in it than a portion of nuts i'm gonna get interrupted You don't need my avocado. Also got two bags of baby spinach. This is full of iron, vitamins, minerals, and you could literally eat, oh, like this is 120 grams. I could eat 100 grams of this a day. It's basically calorie free. So beef, it's really good for beefing up your meals. Also, if you do want to cook it a little bit, you can use much more. You can also put these in smoothies for some extra vitamins and minerals. I promise you can't taste it and then it looks green and it looks even healthier. So I eat a lot of that. Um, asparagus, again, calorie free. These are a diuretic as well. So if you do have these, your pee will smell. But I kind of like that smell, is that wrong? I just really enjoy the taste of these. Again, they're virtually calorie free. Um, very low carb. And then I've got these. Oh, they're so cute. Mm. Baby cucumbers. So these would be like an awesome snack. You can either put them in salads, but uh, I can imagine myself dipping them in hummus. So that's gonna be their fate. But they, these would be really good if you like to snack and if, say, if you're sat at a desk all day, just have these. They're good, nice and crunchy. And apparently, um, I've never tried this. It doesn't actually sound that good, but apparently it's really good. Um, you can like chop cucumbers up and sprinkle stevia and cinnamon on them and they make a really nice treat. That's, I think that would be if you were like really desperate. I would personally not, but you can. I also got some multicolored tomatoes. Again, great source of vitamins, minerals, very low calorie and nice and sweet and crunchy. So um, I eat tomatoes every day, I think they're great. And I got peppermint tea. So now it's getting pretty cold in Canberra. I really hate drinking cold things. So this tea is calorie free. Also kind of staves off hunger as well. So if you are craving something, have a cup of tea, reevaluate the situation and then see if, you, uh, if you're still wanting the thing. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy herbal teas. I used to drink a lot of them in the UK in the winter. And then lastly, so I can get hold of them. I got two punnets of strawberries. They taste so much better over here than in the UK. They so good. Um, berries, all berries are really low calorie. Um, and you can buy them, they're cheaper if you buy them frozen. They're really good for smoothies, things like that. So somewhere in the UK, you want to see something cold and refreshing, I would use berries over other fruits in your smoothie. My perfect smoothie combo is 100 grams of mixed frozen berries, as much spinach as you can fit in and a scoop of protein powder with some water that's a great smoothie idea and then meat choices and this week i'm sticking to leaner cuts of meat although getting your fat from meat sources isn't necessarily a bad thing uh, i just prefer well i me and peanut butter have this love affair it is crucial to have uh, a good balance of healthy fat within your diet for good hormone function things like that so don't be cutting that out so Meat choices. I got chicken mints. Now, I never saw this in the UK. It was pretty common over here. And it's really tasty. I just stir fry this up with some vegetables. You could make bolognese with it. It would be a lower fat version than using beef mints. Um, you can make burgers with it. The possibilities are endless. And then, 
as sometimes eating chicken breast does get a little bit boring and tuna and um, I got some pork schnitzel they're really tender pretty low in fat and very delicious so that's what I bought today these will like I said these will probably make up my lunches it cost me about just over 20 English pounds $40 and it's all gonna be really easy all I need to do is cook up the meat and maybe the zucchinis and the asparagus which both don't take long at all to cook and then shove some tomatoes and spinach with them and that'll be my meal so those are some of the staples that I'm going to be eating this week and generally whether I'm dieting or not I do try to get in plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables I think it makes me feel a lot more energised I barely ever get sick, touch wood I would just add in more carb sources and more fat sources if I wasn't doing this mini cut even if I was doing a normal cut I would still add more carbs, more fats. I just did want to really, really, really emphasize that it is crucial for you to eat a varied and balanced diet. You shouldn't be cutting out any food groups at any stage. It's not maintainable, it's not good for your body. Your body needs these macros to function. Eat a varied diet. If you want something, if you're craving something for days and days, allow yourself to have it. It's all about balance and finding what works for you so that you can stay on track 80% of the time. Get your nutrients in and then have a little bit of what you fancy. I actually really enjoy eating this food. It's not a chore for me at all. Be, be creative as well. Like Make sure you're seasoning your meat because otherwise it is going to taste boring. Make sure you're not overcooking it so it's not dry. Things like that. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I really hope you found this video educational or enjoyable or funny with all them stupid boys interrupting my training videos. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you tomorrow.